It's just so cool how all of these people seem to wind together. Yeah, same you know? thing happened with Bolo Young, who is Bolo Young in this. <laughs> His name was originally Yang Z, I believe. Um, but after being in this film, he took his character name, Bolo. And we are mad fans of Bolo in this house. We yes. love him. I get so excited when I see Bolo. Bolo is the inspiration for the video game character of Bobo in the Double Dragon series. I liked a Bobo in the Double Dragon series, and that was before I knew anything about Bolo Young. And then when I found out that Bolo Young, who was so awesome, is actually the model behind a Bobo, you don't get better than that. You yeah. know, I mean, Bolo Young, like, I think my first exposure to him was seeing him fight uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme. In Bloodsport. Yep, he yeah. was in Bloodsport, and then he came back again in uh, Double Impact. Yeah, you know? I, I remember him from Bloodsport first, I think. Um, he makes a huge impression in that movie as well. He's awesome. Um, and this guy was just a, another different body type. He was actually more into bodybuilding um, as well as martial arts, which he studied from a young age. Um, Bolo Young swam like two and a half miles from communist mainland China to Hong Kong to escape communism, apparently, when he was young. Uh, he had, he went on to become Mr. Hong Kong for like 10 straight years. That is awesome. Which is like this uh, bodybuilding type competition. Um, because, I mean, like, look at the dude. <laughs> like he's nobody so looks like that. No one's that big. He's enormous. He's just like a wall coming at you. Like when... John Saxon is supposed to fight him. I'm like, all right, <laughs> let me flick my suspension of disbelief switch on because there's no way I believe that Bolo is going to get his butt kicked by really anybody. Like, it's not about John Saxon. It's about, like, you know, Bolo is just huge. No, I, I mean, you know, there's a couple things there. John Saxon, also a black belt in karate. Yes. You know, he's in the film. You know, he's kicking ass. But I, I'm right with you. Bolo Young... I, I don't I don't know. We've never seen, at least I've never seen, a movie where Bolo is not the villain. And, yeah. and well, so it's like he has to lose. And it's like I like, okay, let's let's make him the hero. If there is a movie that has Bolo as the hero, you know, let us know or we'll try to look for it because I, I wanna see Bolo go the distance, you know, because it's I usually there, like... I think there is. Oh, I need it. I need it's it. It's just not as popular because we just love the bad guy, Bolo. Like, he's so good at it. I mean, he's great he's at perfect. it in this. Like, the first minute he's fighting somebody and then he, like, snaps their neck and he just looks, like, super psyched about it because he's, like, this gross kind of person and he's just so good at playing that. Like, you know, we love a good villain around here, too. So, Bolo yeah. really falls into that camp of being like this awesome villain.